So for today's trip, I linked up with John Miller and Mark from In Hood Fishing. These guys are fellow YouTubers down here in South Louisiana. So we decided to get together. We launched out of uh, Breton Sound Marina, and we headed out into Breton Sound, into the Fringe Base, to chase some speckled trout. We started at this point here because we saw a little bait and bird activity, but nothing much, so we moved on out to the open bay and uh, we drifted these oyster poles. <laughs> we popped a course here at these oyster poles for a little while. Had a couple small takedowns, no hookups. And so then we moved out again to another island that was a little further out to the bay. And Mark hooked up on a, a fish that popped his line. And so I quickly cast out my Miradine, hooked his cork. Probably. Oh, wow. Your other line popped. <laughs> Man, what's going on? That fish beat both of us. Some <laughs> hot pockets action right there. I caught so we uh, moved again not too far away it was on the back side of that island but it was just a catfish so we decided to move on and plus this weather was coming so we wanted to get into some more protected waters just in case things got a little hairy. I'm doing you guys. I'm doing the right. So we pulled up to this point that had some nice current movement around it. Thinking that maybe there'll be some fish feeding in the in the current line. We probably stayed there for a good five minutes, but there was nothing there. Oh, so then the rain came in, and we decided to move to another point. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is a nice trout. Look at that. Here I go, I got one. We drifted around the point, around to these pilings, to see if the fish were on the structure. It's like my fifth hit right here. It's smaller. It's small, but he's close. But oh, I caught with this little small one. So we drifted back around the point and back to this first spot where John had hooked those first two nice fish. <laughs> Ten pound trout. Hasn't yeah. come up yet. Oh, here we go. Me too, man. That's a trout. You got a trout. Awesome. I got I a just, medium sized part. So at this point, I want to tell you what's up. We've been having a lot of bad weather. Oh, I can't throw. Oh, swing gosh. it, swing it, swing it. Swing it in there. Woo. Woo. Nice. Thank you. Finally, I got a big boy. That's going to be a good catch and cook. Hook him in, eh? There is a fish. That is a trout. That's a trout. That is a nice trout. Get him. Hydroplaning is the best thing. Get him up on the water. We had left and came back, and there were still fish there. So we decided to hunker down in this area and, and really work it over. Some very good days with that. Nice, nice trout. trout. Nice, nice trout. trout. 
Oh, Jeffrey's on another Ooh, one. Right. Nice looking, whatever it is, good size. Ooh, oh, look yeah. at that crap. Nice, good, very nice. Yeah, I know. It seemed like today the popping cork was necessary. Like Other than that top water fish that I caught, oh. I tried throwing the uh, Miradine a few times and I never got a hit on the Miradine, which was kind of shocking. If you watch my videos, it's one of my favorite trout baits. So something was off with the Miradine bite. Big gaff top. I don't Big cat. Big big. This might be my new PB. Uh -huh. It might not though. I've got some competition. Get up here. Oh, oh man. I see it. Big here. One. <laughs> got the big fish of the day. What was that? That was huge. Like a gar almost. I had something take my cork down. At first it wasn't fighting, but gar, as I started to reel it in, I thought it was another catfish. So I was reeling in, reeling in, and then it started taking that drag. And once it took that drag, I knew that had something a little bit bigger oh, than uh, a gaff yeah. top. Look at the size of this. My goodness. You can... I just want to take it. We were trying to fill the chest up with trout. I uh, wasn't super right, I enthused that this guy decided to bite in the middle of our fast-paced trout bite. It's crazy that he's not going outside of the uh, uh, the boundaries. Insane. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, get up here! All right. Oh, this is a four inch reel, definitely. Oh, don't go around that stick, buddy. Come on back over here. There he goes. Oh, come on. Yeah, just be patient. <laughs> This is why you buy quality. All right, here you go. Oh, At this point, this fish wasn't really done, but I was done fighting him, so I decided that he was going to come in, and uh, he wasn't having it. He doesn't want to come up. All right, gotta go around the back. Gotta go to the back. Oh, you're good, you're good. I'm gonna break your camera. Oh boy, stupid boy. All right, get up. Oh, this is... Here he comes. All right. Uh, get it. There you go. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. No. Get the, you get the head? Yeah, you're going to have to. Oh, there we go. There you go. Come straight up. Whew. I'm Ooh, done. Good. How big is this fish? This is definitely a personal best. <laughs> The tip of the tail. Yeah. What is he, 40? He's over 40. Okay. So he's probably 42. 42. 42? Yeah. Nice. That's probably the biggest rig I've ever caught. Yeah. That'd be like being a deer. Yeah. Come on. Man, look at the length of this fish. <laughs> I tried to. I had to do that for a couple of yeah, to, get, to get him back. Revived. So after releasing that big red, moved over to the next reef and right. went back to catching trout again. Maybe I'm reeling him in. I may have been too aggressive. rainstorm was really moving in on us so we suited up and uh, as the rain got to us we couldn't see any end in sight and it was already getting late it was probably a little after two so we decided to pack it up and and get out of there I would like to thank John for inviting us to take a ride on his boat with him. I had a great time fishing with him and Mark, and uh, hopefully maybe we can get together in the future and do it again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like if you liked it. Hit the thumb down if you didn't like it. And uh, I'll see you guys on the water.